Go to Special is a very useful but very much underutilized tool within Excel. Just to show you where it sits under the Home tab by Find and Select, there's something called Go to Special. The way it works is you'll see it's currently clicked on Comments. So what we're asking Excel here is to go to all the cells that have comments in them. So just to show you what happens when I click OK, you'll see Excel has then highlighted or activated each cell that has a comment in them. So for example, in this case, what we could easily do then is if we want to remove it, we say clear, you'll see there's an option here for clear comments. And when I click on it, all the comments are removed. Just to go back there, find, select, go to special. We'll get to some of these just now, but for example, there's something here called objects. Now objects are all these things that sit above the spreadsheet. So this button, the logo, even the chart. So when I tell it to go to all the objects and I click OK, you'll see that all of these are now activated. And if we wanted to, we could move them around or if I click my click my delete button, you'll see in one move we've now deleted all the objects on the spreadsheet. There are several other things we can do with Go to Special. So for example, we've received the spreadsheet. Now it's not very easy to see where the inputs are. So you can see that's an input and that's an input and where the formulas are where there's some sort of a formula because no color coding has been used. We can go to home, find, find and select, go to special and you'll see one of the options is constants. We can now specify do we want constants that are numbers, text, logical or errors. So I'm only interested in numbers at the moment. And when I click OK, you'll see it highlights any cell that's a constant or an input. Normally for this, I then color it perhaps in a light blue. So it's easy for me to see that these are the cells that are inputs, things I can make changes to. We can now do another go to special. But you may have noticed that once it had highlighted all of that, I immediately clicked onto a single cell. The reason for this is if I left it like this, if I run a go to special when I'm in that situation, so let's go to go to special and I tell it to look for all the formulas. When I click OK, it says there's no cells with formulas in, but we know there are formulas here. So go to special works very similar to find and replace. If you're clicked on one cell, it searches the entire spreadsheet. If you're clicked on more than one cell, then it only searches within the highlighted cells. So again, rather click on a single cell, just go find and select, go to special. Now I'm gonna look for any cell that's got a formula in it that ends up as a number. I don't, I'm not interested in text, logical or errors at the moment. And when I say okay, You'll see it highlights all the cells that are formulas. And maybe we now just want to color them so we know that those are the formulas. And again, notice immediately I click onto a single cell so I don't make the mistake of searching within the highlighted range.